everyone, welcome to LaRae's Lab. I'm Dominique LaRae, a medical laboratory scientist who's currently in graduate school for microbiome studies, which is a mix of microbiology and bioinformatics. Today I wanna to share how my grad studies connects to my background in healthcare and what I hope to achieve in the future. So as a medical laboratory scientist, I've spent the last few years working directly with patient samples. We perform testing that helps with diagnosing diseases, monitoring patients, and guiding treatments. Please watch my older videos on my channel in the playlist. You can see what my journey was like in medical laboratory science. As an MLS, I've seen the impact that chronic diseases can have on patients' lives. And it made me realize how much I wanted to do more. I would like the work that I do to help improve diagnosis and treatment options by analyzing clinical data, even more so than what I'm currently doing in the lab. That's what led me to my program that focuses on the microbiome, the vast community of microbes living in and on our bodies. The microbiome has been researched and found to be connected to so many chronic diseases that impact millions of lives in America, from autoimmune disorders to allergies, metabolic diseases like diabetes. Understanding how these microbes influence health could change how we diagnose and treat these diseases in the future. Bioinformatics is the application of statistics and computer programming to analyze biological data. By looking at the genetic makeup of microorganisms in the human body, we can study things like antimicrobial resistance, probiotics, genomics, public health. Like there's so many ways that this information can help. But studying the microbiome means dealing with huge amounts of data, like sequencing hundreds, if not thousands of DNA fragments to identify what microbes are present and how their function change in disease. That's where bioinformatics comes in. It's the toolkit for analyzing this complex biological data. So in my grad classes over the last year, I've learned to use programs and languages like R and Python for data manipulation and statistics. Chime is basically an acronym for quantitative insights into microbial ecology, but it's a software that processes 16S rRNA gene sequencing data. I've learned how to make metagenomic pipelines to explore microbial genes and functions. I've looked into databases like NCBI and KEG for referencing sequences and metabolic pathways. So like these tools give me many ways to turn raw sequencing data into meaningful insights, like which bacterial species increase or decrease in chronic disease is my actual focus for grad school research. So this is cool because I'm learning so much about how the microbiome affects our body's function to heal, reduce inflammation, reduce risk of infection. Like a fix to a chronic disease could be as simple as supplementing the gut bacteria that the patient is missing. Like. <laughs> That just it gets me very excited. <laughs> My work is about wanting to contribute to the growing field of research and using the skills I've developed in medical laboratory sciences to do that. And this is what motivates me to keep learning and growing in science. I've mentioned my grad school and other videos, but I'm a student at University of Florida. My focus is studying the microbiome and how it might be linked to chronic diseases, specifically autoimmunity. The idea that we can use technology to understand the human microbiome is just fascinating to me. And given my background in med lab science, I felt like bioinformatics was the perfect way to bridge my clinical experience with the emerging research in microbiology. The data that we analyze today might help us find new biomarkers or therapeutic targets for chronic diseases, something that can potentially improve the lives for many people with faster detection or even prevention. This summer, I'm starting my exciting research project. I am going to develop a prediction model for type 1 diabetes based on gut microbiome data. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where the immune system attacks insulin producing cells. Recent research suggests that early gut microbial changes in like an infancy might predict who will develop this disease later on. I'm going to be analyzing samples from patients to identify microbial patterns linked to disease onset. Using machine learning techniques and bioinformatics, I'm going to be able to build models that would predict risk before clinical symptoms appear. This kind of work could help us diagnose type 1 diabetes earlier and potentially develop microbial therapies to prevent it from happening in the first place, which that's a, it's a very long way away, but you have to start somewhere. So looking ahead, my long-term vision is, I guess I hope to be able to possibly continue on in grad school. I think I'm leaning towards translational science. I don't really know right now. It's way too early to even think about PhD programs, but I just want to bridge the gap between the lab and patient care. I can also do that in science communication or SciCom. It's the practice of making complex scientific ideas clear, accessible, and engaging to people outside of STEM. Either of these routes are just aspirations. My only goal right now is just to keep learning and growing in bioinformatics, even if the future path isn't perfectly clear right now with all the funding changes going on. <laughs> 
But I do want to mention that SciComm is so important because science affects all of us. And better communication helps improve public understanding and inspires future scientists. And essentially that was my channel. I communicated what we do as MLS to help people understand what we do and help students continue on in their journey. Did an entire year of science outreach in undergrad when I was studying biology. And I think I want to continue that into my channel going forward. So this space will be more of a passion project. My little lab, <laughs> Larray's lab. <laughs> we will explore topics in science, mainly my interest in microbiology, genetics, immunology, and bioinformatics to start. We'll do DIY at home experiments and we'll also do programming projects with data in R and Python. And we'll do literature reviews to talk about current research in life science and MLS because there's actually quite a bit going on in the field too. Several of you guys have already shared great ideas and I really, really, really appreciate it. I have the videos planned this year. I have not posted a video since January. I've been working really hard to revamp this channel to be something that I can continue on for a while to come, like, you know, beyond the content that I was already producing. If there are any specific topics, if you are interested in learning or talking about within MLS or life science, let's explore it. And it can be anything from microbes and infectious disease to immunology, how testing works in the lab, how to code, topics explained for MLS students, honestly, anything you could think of, we can talk about it. I think this would be a more meaningful way for me to create content on YouTube. And this change is exciting for me and I hope that somebody finds the content informative or interesting. I want this channel to be a community where we all can learn and grow together. Whether you're interested in pursuing a career in medical lab science, want to learn more about the microbiome, or just curious about science in general, I want to make complex topics understandable and accessible to everyone. So again, just leave a comment below and I hope you guys will stick around for this new journey. Before I go, I want to leave you with this important thought. It's crucial not to limit yourself or let boundaries, whether they're traditional career paths, degrees, or expectations hold you back from what you're passionate about. Science is vast and constantly evolving, and so are we as learners and professionals. This channel started out as a way for me to share my journey in medical laboratory science, but now I'm growing and expanding into a new exciting field, microbiome studies. I want you to know that it's okay to evolve your interest, push past the limit that you might set for yourself and to explore new areas that challenge and inspire you to keep growing. For me, understanding bioinformatics, I honestly believe it's becoming an essential skill for anyone working in a lab, whether that's microbiology, clinical labs, genetics, genomics, just lab. Data analysis is very important to lab and it's only going to continue to grow. Learning these skills can open new doors for your career help you skill up in a changing job market and allow you to contribute to cutting edge research that really impacts human health. So thanks for watching and I can't wait to share more on this journey with you.